Hello there. Hey, I'm Robert Summers, pastor of Mountain Creek Community Church on top of Prayer Mountain in southwest Dallas. We've had a lot of miracles here, so I want to help you have the miracle that you need. In fact, we're getting ready to get into another building program with a large pavilion uh, that has restrooms and showers in it for all the picnickers and mountain bike riders who come and the wounded vets who come to ride our Patriot trails. We'll have some miracles. Now, a miracle doesn't happen every day, otherwise it wouldn't be a miracle. Uh, they're uncommon, and yet we find in our life, in the walk of faith, that the Lord often intervenes to bring about, by the grace of God, something that you could not resolve, you couldn't fix, you couldn't do it in the natural. It's a supernatural intervention. So here's how to do this. Be a person of prayer. Be a person of the Word of God. Believe the Word of God. Walk in faith. Live in hope. Hope will see things that faith will pursue. So if you've lost hope, you need to get back in fellowship among people of hope and get your hope built up. We thank God for the work of faith. We wouldn't be here in these hundred acres if we hadn't had miracles. There were so many times we were at an impasse. It just couldn't be done. We didn't have enough money, didn't have enough help. And yet it's, it's done. And to God be the glory. Here's how to do this. Recognize that in the Old Testament, all the miracles of those messenger prophets who came from God, their, their words were confirmed by the working of miracles. For instance, uh, uh, with Elisha uh, bringing food and sustenance to the little widow, there's always a requirement of some human response of faith and obedience. And same is true of the New Testament miracles. When Jesus finds the man by the pool of Bethesda, he says, your sins are forgiven you, rise up and walk. Take up your bed and go home. He required of that man something that man had probably never done in years. How am I going to take up my bed? But there is a human requirement to every work of faith. Faith without works is dead. So be willing to respond be willing to hear, be willing to obey, and be willing to follow the Holy Spirit. Miracles are a gift, but so also the walk of faith that we walk in by grace. We garner strength from the Word of God, and so you are called on to participate in the miracle that you need. I'm not talking about some minor miracle that you didn't stay up and study last night, you partied, and now you're praying for a miracle on your college exam. But I'm talking about those moments in life when we face an issue like the feeding of the 5,000. How are we going to feed all these people? God always requires somebody to respond. A little boy brought his sack lunch and it was given to the Lord. And the multitude was fed. Be willing to participate. Be willing to respond and you will know the power of God. I'm going to be praying for you that you have that miracle this week. Don't forget, be a person of prayer and believe the Word of God. God bless you.